Hi friends, welcome to Let's Learn Civil Engineering Classroom. This video include questions of structural engineering which are repeatedly asked for the competitive exams in civil engineering. For more videos, press the subscriber button below. 31st question. When the forces in a force system lie in the same plane and have same line of action, then force system is called coplanar non-concurrent, B coplanar parallel, C coplanar concurrent, D coplanar collinear. The answer is when the forces in a force system lie in the same plane and have same line of action, then the force system is called as coplanar collinear. The way in which the force is acting is called as A magnitude, B direction, C point of application, D sense. The answer is the way in which the force is acting is called as sense. The diameter of longitudinal bars in column should not be less than A 8 mm, B 10 mm, C 12 mm, D 16 mm. The answer is the diameter of longitudinal bars in column should not be less than 12 mm. The maximum angle of inclination of the plane at which a body remains in equilibrium under the action of friction only is called as A. Angle of repose B. Cone of friction C. Angle of friction D. Angle of inclination The answer is The maximum angle of inclination of the plane at which a body remains in equilibrium under the action of friction only is called as angle of friction. The volumetric strain of a rectangular body subjected to axial force is A. E into 1 minus 2 by M B. E into 2 minus 2 by M C. E into P minus 2 by M D. E into 1 minus 1 by M The answer is the volumetric strain of a rectangular body subjected to an axial force is E into 1 minus 2 by M. The maximum strain energy stored in a body is known as A. Proof of resilience B. Modulus of rupture C. Resilience D. Modulus of resilience The answer is The maximum strain energy stored in a body is known as Proof resilience. The maximum deflection for a simply supported beam with a central concentrated load is A. WL square by 16 EI B. WL cube by 16 EI C. WL square by 48 EI D. WL cube by 48 EI The answer is the maximum deflection for a simply supported beam with a central concentrated load is WL cube by 48 EA. For 45 degree bend up bar, the additional length of one bend up is A D B 0.45 D C 0.9 D D 9 D. The answer is for 45 degree bend up bar, the additional length of one bend up is 0.45 D. For an over reinforced section, A. Na greater than Nc, B. Na less than Nc, C. Na equal to Nc, D. Na not equal to Nc. The answer is for an over reinforced section, Na is greater than Nc. Structural steel sections are confirming to A. IS-432-1982 B. IS-1139-1966 C. IS-1786-1985 D. IS-226-1975 The answer is The structural steel sections are confirming to IS-226-1975 the minimum ultimate tensile strength of cold twisted bar is A. 425 Newton per mm square B. 495 Newton per mm square C. 565 Newton per mm square D. 595 Newton per mm square The answer is The minimum ultimate tensile strength of cold twisted bar is 565 Newton per mm square The development length LD 
for bars in tension is given by a sigma s into phi by 4 tau b d b sigma s into d by s tau b d c sigma s into phi by tau b d d sigma s by 4 tau b d the answer is the development length ld for bars in tension is given as sigma s into phi by 4 tau b d the center of gravity of a hemisphere from the base is at a distance of a 2r by 8 b 3r by 8 c 4r by 8 d 6r by 8 the answer is the center of gravity of a hemisphere from the base is at a distance of 3r by 8 in raking the bottom of the raker is rest on a braces b straining c rakers d salt plate the answer is in raking the bottom of the raker is rest on the salt plate the most important tool in obtaining influence line is a eddy's theorem b willett mohr theorem c muller brislow method d column analogy method the answer is the most important tool in obtaining influence line is muller brislow method which of the following is a force method a slope deflection method b column analogy method c moment distribution method d none of the above the answer is the force method is the column analogy method for splicing tension reinforcement in flexural member the most suitable location is point of inflection b point of maximum bending moment c at the supports d none of the above the answer is for splicing tension reinforcement in flexural members the most suitable location is at the point of inflection among which of the following conditions a T beam becomes identical to a rectangular beam with width equal to that of flange a neutral axis remains within the web b neutral axis remains within the flange c neutral axis coincide with geometrical center of the beam d none of this the answer is T beam becomes identical to a rectangular beam with width equal to that of flange in neutral axis remains within the flange the resultant force at the bottom of retaining wall lies outside the middle third the failure will be due to a crushing b sliding c upthrust d overturning the answer is the resultant force at the bottom of the retaining wall lies outside the middle third the failure will be due to the overturning the main reinforcement in a simply supported rcc member is placed at a top fiber b side fiber c bottom fiber d top and bottom fiber the answer is the main reinforcement in a simply supported rcc member is placed at the bottom fiber if the sum of all forces acting on a body is zero then the body may in equilibrium provided the forces are a concurrent b parallel c like parallel d unlike parallel the answer is if the sum of all forces acting on a body is zero then the body may in equilibrium provided the forces are concurrent the ratio of lateral strain to linear strain is called as a modulus of elasticity b modulus of rigidity c bulk modulus d poisson's ratio answer is the ratio of lateral strain to the linear strain is called as the poisson's ratio the bending moment at the free end of a cantilever beam carrying any type of load is a minimum b maximum c zero d equal to load the answer is the bending moment at the free end of a cantilever beam carrying any type of load is zero the point of contraflexure is a point when a shear force changes sign b bending moment is maximum c shear force is maximum d bending moment changes sign the answer is the point of contraflexure is a point when bending moment changes its sign the maximum slope of a cantilever carrying a point load at its free end is a at the fixed end b at the free end c center of the span d none of the above the answer is 
the maximum slope of a cantilever carrying a point load at its free end is at the free end. Hooke's law is valid a only within elastic limit b only above elastic limit c only within plastic limit d till breaking of substance. The answer is a Hooke's law is valid only within the elastic limit. The bending moment on a section is maximum where shear force is A. 0 B. Minimum C. Changing sign D. Maximum The answer is the bending moment on a section is maximum where the shear force is changing its sign. The bending moment diagram for a cantilever carrying uniformly distributed load will be A. A triangle B. A parabola C. A cubic parabola D. A rectangle the answer is the bending moment diagram for a cantilever carrying uniformly distributed load will be a parabola. A plane which is not subjected to shear stress is known as A. Compound plane B. Simple plane C. Non-shear plane D. Principal plane The answer is a plane which is not subjected to shear stress is known as a principal plane. The unit of torque in SI unit is a. Kilogram centimeter B. Newton meter C. Kilogram per centimeter square D. None of these The answer is The unit of torque in SI unit is Newton meter